Okay, it's day 155.2, and uh, I just want to quickly recap, because this is getting complicated, but um, in the last three videos, I basically posited that the, uh, the, the primary method for this inner group, this SS group, or this SES group within this SES core, was the Blackberries, uh, the Imran Awans Blackberries, and that's why they've had such cover in the Congress and to do whatever they want, basically, uh, and clear a assets out, et cetera, move terabytes to Pakistan, et cetera. Obvious state sponsorship, uh, the cover with uh, Project Cassandra. There's many examples in our series. But then that they also had this backup network run through this guy named AD, the satellite network. So the BlackBerry is obviously much more efficient using Navy, Navy cryptography, using the, you know, Andy's uh, uh, trusted staff, the, the very solid cryptography developed in Canada. Um, by uh, RIM, uh, but there's always a backup channel. If that network is ever compromised, you need a backup channel. And I talked about this backup channel. We're going to introduce this backup channel more and more. Remember, B, it's Donald Trump and MBS above the board weapons dealing versus MBZ below the board dealing with guys like AD and MBZ and UAE. Okay. I know that sounds complicated, but just remember Donald Trump showing the charts above the board with MBS in the White House versus MBZ here below the board using his un under the board, under the table communications network like the satellite network, like the Blackberries. Okay, Anthony's trusted staff. So it's a choice of, of light versus dark, very simple. Okay, then I introduced this uh, concept of uh, leveraging off the great work of AIM network and, and Field O'Connell's work. Talking about this SES core, I talked about how that don't, be completely confused. This inner core will do anything in terms to deceive you. Although the paperwork may say that this inner core of 500 are all lawyers, actually about a, I would say about a fourth of them are lawyers. Most of them are specializing in compromising other people, attacking other people. That's going to be the FBI piece, the CIA piece, the ATF, all really much now, all the uh, uh, enforcement divisions in, in the DynCorp backbone now have an enforcement compromise kind of activity, as well as you're going to have influence people like of key political figures uh, in the Senate, in the House. You're going to have key entertainment figures. Los Angeles, you're going to have key investment figures, business figures in terms of doing influence. So you've got kind of an information campaign going on here. You've kind of got a dirty tricks campaign going on down here. You're compromising judges, compromising state officials, etc. So dirty tricks down here, and then you've got kind of an information campaign up here. Plus, you've got your back channel communication here. You've got your Blackberries with the Awan kids, and you've got the Blackberry satellite network backup network with the Awan dad with Mohammed Tahir. Okay, so that was uh, kind of a recap of last night. This morning I introduced, and I realize the pictures are getting a little bit busy here, but it's just to remind you of all the people that are in SES. Again, that's to remind you of all the metadata to give you clues of what this core looks like what this group of 500 looks like by their own metadata, by their own hand, okay? So it's just helping you. I'm just giving you visual reminders of, of how the Blackberries are connected, which gives you an idea of how the 500 is structured metadata-wise. I'm giving you pictures of who people in the SES are, Philippe Rhinus, Shapiro, et cetera, uh, Morel, uh, Hanetta, uh, you know, Petraeus, and so forth, to give you an idea of the structure, the underlying structure. Again, they're not going to advertise this structure. So we have to infer or induce the structure. And then, of course, you've got Andy and, and uh, the guy running it all here, which is Brennan. And I threw a few others in here with, with Anthony Weiner and Rahm Emanuel and Doish and so forth, just to give you an idea, maybe Waxman. Throw, throw those folks in there. So now what I want to move to is, okay, how does this network communicate out? How do they exert control? And, you know, I use these black lines going out as kind of like liaison uh, liaisons going out. So going out to the world here, we have this NBC network. We're going to communicate to ISIS as kind of our gangs for security overseas. Now we're going to go over here to the legislative road here. How do we control the legislature? How do we control uh, the, let's say the Senate or the House? Okay. So of course we go to our plum book right here and we're going to go to who's the liaison and they're going to just say it straight out. The Secretary of Defense liaison, which is going to be the CIA, right, is, is right here. It's Im, Imram Iram Al Ali. We're going to go over here and see ES. Yes, she is a member of the SES. Okay. So again, this is the power of Google searches. 
boom, there's your, there's nothing hidden here. It's just a matter of the way to take down the uh, SES core is just to do Google searches. This isn't even a compound Google search. And here she is. You're going to see she's very young. Okay. And she's, uh, they even go out to even say Amazon public policy. So they're not hiding anything. And she's the liaison and uh, uh, Lawrence Technical University, which I believe is in Southfield, Michigan, which is the old uh, Affleck uh, line of the Capone network, I believe. But anyway, that's an aside. Um, anyway, she's going to talk about foreign policy, et cetera. Now she's got public policy and sector defense for Amazon. This is going to be all your purchasing information being dumped into the profiles that SES Core has got for you, right? Now, here she is. She's the special assistant to the Secretary of Defense. Again, she's this line. She's this line between the SES Core and Podesta, right, or whoever is doing the management of the folks in Congress. Uh, so I'll quickly go back to her profile. So here she is. She's on this uh, team. What is she in charge of? The 300 people that DOD puts into as presidential appointees, including the 20, uh, two presidential appointees. So this is the control mechanism for the SES core, right? Where was she at before that? Well, she was at BAE Systems Weapons um, Manufacturer, right? Basically, to get her chops over there um, in terms of her resume, get a little uh, private sector on her resume. And we'll jump back to the defense, again, legislative affairs. Now, the Department of Defense is embedded completely in the basement of both the Congress, uh, both houses of Congress, Senate and the House. They've got an office right in there. Anytime anybody wants to make any kind of comment about any policy, they have to run it by legislative affairs downstairs. Same thing for FBI has a legislative affairs, so does DOJ. So uh, the DOJ may be combined with FBI now that I think about it. But anyway, um, so here she is in Congress, running around the halls of Congress as a staffer, running around the different committees. This is basically a go-between and a runner between all the committees. And that's it. I mean, I think she's only about 30 years old. She's a member of SES as a member of 30 years old. Now, why is she a member so quickly of SES, 30 years old? Well, I'm not going to say... Well, Wayne State here is obviously right in the middle of downtown Detroit, 80 percent uh, black. This is John Conyers' uh, uh, old, uh, well, it still is until his son takes over, his old territory. Now, I know a lot about this. I'm not going to say a lot more about this, but Lord's Technical, uh, Technological University, again, uh, I think this is the Afflex, and they were the, the, well, I talked about this. And this is how the whole trip started. I started in uh, Detroit, went across to Windsor. That was the old Windsor to, to Detroit uh, Capone network. And I think the Afflex were the ones that were the primary beneficiaries. And then they, of course, everybody builds university. Now I believe it is a technical rinse, what we call a technical rinse of technology being stolen of different national laboratories and then rinse through. You have one of your professors here discover something that's already been stolen from one of the national universities and away you go. So that's, yeah. And there's a couple of different technical rinse universities. I think Lawrence Tech is going to be one of those. But you can see here she is SES making as much as two hundred thousand dollars a year with almost zero qualifications. I mean, really, uh, the only thing maybe uh, is roller skates in Congress are her only uh, qualifications really of, of running, being a go-between in the in the different committee members, the DOD committees, Senate Armed Self Services, etc., and the and the House Armed Services Committee. And that's it. There's your Imran Al-Ali, SES member in the Plum Book.